Hey guys, today I want to talk about everyday products that we use here in the Philippines that I use in the Philippines and a lot of the expats use here. And these are very useful. They're items that you, they're easy to buy here. And one of them is, is um, these Vaseline products. There's a lot of Vaseline products that we have. Vaseline is really good because they have a lot of stuff that has UV, UV protection in there. Um, one of them's for cooling. And I'm gonna get into that. I'm gonna grab the first one here. A lot of us expats over here tend to have a lot of skin problems. And let me tell you something, when you go walking around, you wanna have a lotion that goes on kind of dry. Otherwise you're gonna get sweaty, it gets kind of sticky and it's kind of gross. And the Vaseline products, you would think Vaseline because you're thinking petroleum jelly be kind of greasy and gross. Well, these lotions have a little bit of probably petroleum Vaseline jelly in there, but it still goes on dry because you don't have, need a lot of it, okay? You just put it a little bit. And this is an unscented lotion, this first one here, it's called Advanced Repair, okay? Advanced Repair here, it says it heals and relieves dry skin without feeling greasy. And it's true, it, it does go on like that. And I wanna mention that one. And that one I use when, when I don't need like a cooling effect. And this next one here is one I've talked about before. And it's this one here, okay? And it's Vaseline, Healthy Bright, uh, fresh and bright cooling. It's UV also. It's a niacinamide lotion. So it's good for, for protecting you a little bit against the sun. So if you're out in the sun a little bit, you might want to wear something like this. There's a lot of lotions out there that do have UV protection if you look for the right ones. But you got to really look. But this one here, it says Vaseline jelly, 10 times vitamin B3, menthol, and aloe. So it has menthol in it. It makes you feel cooler. Now get this. It says minus 4 degrees Celsius instant cooling okay and this is radiant skin in two weeks and this does make you feel cooler it's great when you're going out because it has that menthol in there okay and also they have a, i believe it's called bronner's peppermint soap you can get that online too you can get it on lazada and that soap makes you feel like cooler too and those things do work also and then we got this one here this is another lotion, I, and I, this is one, actually one of my favorite go-to lotions because it goes on the driest, and you only need a little bit, and it's, it says 48 hours smoother skin. It really does help keep your skin moisturized. You're still gonna have, like, if you have dermatitis or psoriasis, but it does help heal it a lot. And this is like body milk. It says Nivea, intensive moisture body milk, 48 hours smoother skin, uh, deep moisture essence with vitamin E and avocado oil, and it says it's for normal to dry skin. Okay, so, and, and, and dermatitis and, and psoriasis and all that's kind of funny because you could still have oily skin and, you know, still need to use like a lotion or something like that. And that's a, a good lotion because it goes on kind of dry. It dries really quick. It doesn't stick to, you know, your blankets and stuff like that. And the Vaselines, they're really good like that too, but you only use a minimal amount. You, don't, you only need a little bit. Now, here's, here's, here's my favorite when I'm going out, this here, okay? Johnson's Cooling Baby Powder. It says it with natural honeysuckle extracts, gent gently cools and refreshes, and it keeps you dry. Man, I go out with that. You know, you put it in, you put it in your underwear, your socks, um, you put rub it all over your legs, your arms, and yeah, you're gonna look a little bit white because you have it on there, but you just rub it on there. Uh, you can use like a, a powder. I have one of these hair things here, I'll show you. Um, I keep a powder, like a powder in here, and you can see the powder on the bottom, but it's like a powder puff, you know, and you gently put it on, and you wipe it on with that, and you rub, rub off the excess, but it keeps you really dry, and um, you don't sweat as fast out there, and then you can use also your neck cooler, your neck air conditioner, like the one I have, I showed that before. Um, here's another lotion here. This is Cetaphil Moisturizing Lotion. I'm not really too fond of this one, uh, doctors recommend it. It's a little greasy, but it works fairly well, okay? If you're in the house a lot, that one, I would use that. Probably because doctors recommend it more. But the other ones are really good too. But Cetaphil gets, it's recommended by the doctors all the time. Also, I got this here. Go-to cola extract. This here is fantastic for helping skin issues. And what I do is I mix that in with my Nivea. The, the body milk, I mix a little bit of it in there so it goes into my skin and it helps me. Um, another thing I take, and I take this for heart issues, you know, 
I don't have any heart issues, but to prevent, you know, heart attacks, things like that, I take the 81 milligrams of, of aspirin every day. That's something I do. Some people disagree with it. Some doctors say, now nah, you don't have to do that anymore. Um, I, I do it anyway because it thins my blood. I've had clots before um, and issues like that, so I take that. Um, next thing I take is this here, go-to cola pills. This is for your memory as you age. It also helps with your skin, uh, enhances concentration, uh, prevents nervous disorders. Um, let me see. Helps with cognitive function. Um, go-to cola is really, really good because it helps with a lot of things with aging. Okay, now this one here is important for guys that are that are diabetic or pre-diabetic, or they're worried about their sugar, or you take, you're eating a lot of sugar, cinnamon. Cinnamon is good for the cardiovascular system too. So it's, it's good for, you, for all that. But you don't wanna to take too much of this, and you take it about a half hour before you eat. I mean, it, it, it can be bad for your kidney and liver if you overdo it. So you just wanna take, take what's recommended. It's, it, it helps with anti-inflammatory, uh, reduce ri risk of heart disease, lower blood sugar level, Protect against cancer, help fight bacterial and fun, uh, fungal infections, help fight the HIV virus, anti-mogul properties, and a, a natural insect repellent. So it's all those. Um, also, I get a, a guy, he writes into me occasionally, actually quite often, um, about mega doses of vitamin C. And I'm all for this because vitamin C does not really harm you, okay? It, it's, it, it just, you just urinate it out. It's, it's something that you can take a lot of. Of course, you don't want to overdo it, but you can take between like 1,000 to 5,000. That's considered like a mega dose, I guess. And that's a, this, this here, vitamin C. And there's many different ones. The rose hip ones is probably like the best. But this one over here, I mean, that's good enough for over here. You know, it's good enough to have over here, and, and it's kind of nice to have. I, I, I notice that my skin issues um, and infections go away faster, much faster when I'm on the mega doses. And if I don't take it, and you spread it out throughout the day, you don't take it all at once. A lot of guys think, well, I'll just take it all at once. No, 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 no. Spread it out through your day. And you're probably going to get some loose stools and stuff like that. But, you know, you can always take some some of this here, loperamide. And, and, and that's a good thing to carry, too, when, you, when you're out and about. Because in the Philippines, you tend to get diarrhea. That's what you want to carry with you in your little bags. Okay? Another thing, vitamin D3. That's... That's like something you definitely should have over here because it helps keep your immune system up. Um, it's really, really good for your health. It's one of the vitamins that you should always be taking in the Philippines along with your vitamin C. Then, last but not least here, we got wipes. Okay, there's one thing you should carry in the Philippines. It's wipes. And these here are cleansing wipes. And what these are good for, if you're out and about on a rainy day, and you're getting water splashed on your legs, the second you get inside, you should be wiping with these here, or you should get like an antibacterial wipes or whatever. And these here are great when you go into a bathroom and there's no toilet paper, okay? You know, and you just use these here. You carry them with you, you take, take it in your, your small backpack. You should always have a small backpack that you take with you and carry these here. That's something you should always have. And you know what else they're great for? When you're out and about and it's really, really hot and you're sweating like crazy, this here, you can wipe the sweat off your face or whatever. Carry a small towel also in your, in your backpack or a face cloth or something that you can wipe your face or, or one of those um, towels that absorb really good. You know the ones I'm talking about? They're almost like, a, they feel like felt when you touch them. You get one of those, those are great too. But these here, they're great to have because you need them anyway. You know, if you go to the bathroom, you need to use this because there's no toilet paper in half the bathrooms in the Philippines. So it's something great to have. But I want to talk a little bit about that today. We've talked about this quite a lot. Um, I also have another, let me get this other one over here. I'll show you this one too. Um, this is a newer Vaseline. It's called Essential Healing. And I'm big on, on the Vaseline products because I like them because they have different types. Now this one here keeps dry skin healed for three weeks without feeling greasy. And it's essential, it's just a body lotion. It has a little bit of Vaseline jelly in there. So you get that little, a little bit of uh, grease, which also protects your skin, by the way, guys, when you get splashed on. And that's one of the things you want to have. Another thing, guys, if you guys are, are diabetics, 
um, and you're taking metformin or anything, you should also take a vitamin B complex because it depletes vitamin, the vitamins in you, like the B, B12, I believe it is, and stuff like that. And metformin is actually a great medicine because if you have uric acid, it gets rid of that uric acid. I also take another, I'll tell you about this while I'm on here. I take these here, okay? And it's a, it's a liver pill, okay? Um, and I, I swear by these here. If you have a fatty liver or anything like that, you might want to take those, but you also want to take them with a lot of water. And um, another thing I got, these here things, liver guard, okay? And you can get these at Watson's. It's uh, Silly Marin and Lecithin. And I, I started buying those a little while ago because a lady recommended them to me. And I like them. They're good. It's a good product. Um, I'm not sure if it's working, but I, I will be getting a liver test probably in the next few months and I'll find out a little bit more. But you have to drink a lot of liquids too. And you have to kind of cut back on your fats. Um, kind of lose weight if you can. Um, that's something that I'm struggling with right now. I'm going to the gym a little bit more. I'm walking more. Because we're, get, we're getting into the drier season, and that's, you know, that's a huge plus. Anyway, guys, I want to talk a little bit about that. Also, I want to thank everybody um, that watched Justin's video and um, f for all the, you know, the, the help that you've given him, you know, by, with, the, with the nice comments and everything. Because he's just starting out. Give him a chance. He'll do well. We also have uh, Rich. Rich is going to be making additions to the channel, contributions, um, and that'll help also. And I'm still going to be on here. I'm still going to be making the same amount of videos that I always make. And I want everybody to know that, that the videos that I'm doing are still going to keep on continuing. But we're going to have Justin. We're going to have Rich. Um, and we'll have those two more, you know, those two people contributing. I got the baby here, guys. Anyway, guys, God bless. Take care. I got to attend to this here. God bless, guys. Take care.